Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to go ahead and just kind of keep you guys updated with the leveling progress because I know a lot of players kind of need help with that. Um, so just to go over my gear and where we're at, we're level 61. Uh, haven't hit Merciless yet because I typically just farm Dried Lake for a little bit. Uh, since, you know, we're going to be over-leveling content anyway with this character before we transition. And I'm about to actually go fight Malachi with Piety. Well, Piety and then Malachi. So I wanted to just kind of run down that for you guys. And I'm just going to go over the gear. Um, so we pretty much are using everything that I had linked in the original video. Uh, so I've got my Darkseer with my Troll Timber with Gold Rim. Uh, six Link in my Tabula, which is Ink AoE, Burn Damage, Righteous Fire, Elemental Focus, Spell Totem, Rapid Decay. You can alternatively use Minion and Totem Elemental Resistance somewhere in here. Got the two Mokus Embraces, Nagamus, Belt of the Deceiver, Seven Leg Step, and uh, my Bronze Scale Gauntlets with just random stats. Uh, you can remove the Mokus because the damage is pretty insane. You can just use like regular Life Resist. Uh, and in terms of the skill tree, we picked up Time of Need and then Cruel plus Merciless. You'll just do it at the same time. Uh, like you'll just wait to over level, do them at like level 70 or something because these really don't help you at all until you go low life RF. So you get Radiant Faith, Unwavering Faith, and then your choice of, like I said, Prayer, Glory. Uh, if you're offensive, Bastion of Hope. If you're defensive, which I might take this time around uh, if I want to use Rainbow Strides, or Harmony of Purpose if you want to meme. Um, yeah, so we're also progressing over to here. So I'm going to go in, grab Blast Radius, probably grab these hybrid nodes. Uh, then move up and across, grab Written in Blood, move down, probably, I don't really know, we'll figure out past then. But yeah, definitely this life cluster, probably even this cluster as well. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into it, and I'll show you guys what we're working with. So let's do Conk Effect for Ink AoE. Well, that hurt. Why do you have to hurt me so much? Oh, she's dead, just kidding. All right, ink AOE, swap in. As for my flasks, I'm just running two Quicksilvers and a Granite and Life Flasks. You can run, like, pretty much whatever you want. If you're having issues with damage, then run a Sulfur Flask, because a Sulfur Flask will really help out with your character. Um, I am running Elemental Equilibrium, and the reason why is when you throw a Vol Lightning Trap, it'll proc your Elemental Equilibrium for you. Um, you don't really need Elemental Equilibrium on any mobs, because they just pretty much insta-die. <clears throat> so that's not really that's not really anything you have to worry about. So that's pretty much just for bossing. By the way, let's please keep it English in the Twitch chat, man. Also, I took off Purity of Fire, and the reason for taking off Purity of Fire is my totems can pretty much kill most mobs before the uh, they can kill most mobs before they expire anyway. And this kind of puts me in line for my Mind Over Matter. So I essentially have 2,800 effective life right now. Which makes me feel pretty safe on my character. Okay, so my Ligaro. Swap. One, two, three, four. Oh, I keep forgetting the Searing Bond. Searing Bond is supposed to be here. And Enduring Cry is supposed to be here. So after this, we're just going to take a portal. <clears throat> and just teleport back. Oops, not this one. Ink AoE. Where's my Stone Golem? Is he here? There he is. Mr. Stone Golem. No, Righteous Fire Totems do not overlap damage, it just helps, uh, essentially, with the placement of them. I shall preserve your beauty for eternity. So, so pretty! You are imprisoned by your own vanity, Chevron. Of these three, Dodre is probably going to be the most annoying, but it really shouldn't be that difficult. 
Uh, so let's try to just boom, boom. Nice. And now we're just gonna portal, and Malachi should be right here for us. One cool thing about totems versus Malachi, which I'll explain in second phase, is uh, it's actually really easy to kill him because you can summon a totem to take his trap, and Righteous Fire doesn't cost any mana, which means the Righteous Fire totems don't cost any mana. Let me show you what a real god can do. One, two, three. One thing to mention is this is without elemental overload, which is 40% more damage. I personally just don't really think it's necessary for leveling, but if you want to use it, you know, feel free to use it. So here's a trap, for example. You could just summon a totem, and your totem can take it for you, which is pretty nice. So again, a trap would be here. Boom, we can just eat it. Trap over here. He ate it himself. Trap right here. Boom, a trap. It's pretty cool. And that is pretty much Malachi for you guys. So we are now off to the next difficulty. Did I grab my skill point? I'm pretty sure I did grab it. No love for Diala. Go, go away. And our resistances, with the exception of lightning, are pretty much almost capped, which means I could actually just run a purity of lightning. And I'm pretty sure I'd be res capped already with the gear that I explained in the videos, which is pretty cool. Or alternatively, you could swap a Mokus for another resist ring. But the gear that I covered in the videos has a ton of resistance on it, meaning you're pretty much good to go already. Just to prove that point as well, I'm going to go ahead and turn on a Purity of Lightning, which I have here. And I'm essentially resistance capped already, so I'm actually going to go ahead and just do that, because that literally just takes me one second. Um, so I can just take off, here, remove Flame Dash for now, take Purity of Lightning, which is right here. Okay, and we're now resistance capped with literally basic gear, which is pretty cool, because, you know, you want to make leveling as, as easy as possible for you. Actually, let's see if we can... Let's, like, super degen Mr. Hillock. Mr. Hillock, senpai, where are you? Alright, Hillock, you gonna take the bait? Let's see if he takes the bait, boys. Three, two, one. Degen! Oh. <laughs> that was just the searing bond unlinked. The RF totem, like, fucking shit on him. Alright, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Remember, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments below. Uh, and feel free to check out the other videos associated with leveling the Lowlife Righteous Fire character. I've got quite a few of them on there, and I'll consider putting them into a playlist if you guys would like as well. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, you can always catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everyone.